Hello everyone, my name is Haramar and this is God's House and today you're watching a biblical podcast. Anyway, let's get into it. Today's daily Bible verse is Isaiah 53, 6. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each one of us has turned to our own ways and the Lord has laid upon him the inquiry of all of us. So what does that mean? That means that we all have gone astray. We all have sinned. We all have fallen from God. But listen, there is a way out. We can turn back to him. He, he will accept us. He will, uh, the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. And he says, uh, look, one sin might not seem like a lot. Like, let's say I lied about something. Like, let's say, uh, let's say I was not supposed to eat a candy and I ate it and then I lied about it, well, I would get two sins. One would be me eating the candy whenever I shouldn't have, and then the other one would be me lying about it. And th those two sins would be no different than me committing, than me killing somebody. That's what the Bible says. That's how important we need to keep this. We need to keep this very, very important. But listen, there is a way out. We can turn to God and ask Him for forgiveness. We can ask each other to forgive us too. So, cause sometimes, you know, we uh we need to ask to be forgiven of others, and sometimes we need to ask to for, forgive, ask to be forgiven of God, and sometimes we need to ask to be forgiven from both of them. Cause God, well, you're sinning against Him, and that's horrifying. Just think about it. You messed up, and now you're blaming. And now you're sinning against God. Sin is sin, people. Sin is sin. The wages of sin is death. So what does that mean? That means that we all deserve to die and go to hell. Whenever it says death, yeah, it means a second. I believe it means a second death. Which is going to hell. Yeah, so, um... Maybe I could, uh... You know, some of us, we need to live by example, but we all have messed up. Well, not all of us. Not some of us. All of us need to live by example, but we have all messed up. We need to be there for one another, but yeah, we seem to be worried about these wars and threats and all this other stuff. You know, God's saying, look, it's okay to be worried about that, but don't focus your whole life on that unless, uh, you know, you want to study it or something like that. And by study, I mean like scientifically. Because sometimes it does take uh, something bad to happen to us to make us realize, hey, you know, I don't really understand this. Maybe I should study it to better understand it. But don't worry about that, though. J don't worry about that. Just because uh, with diseases and stuff, we can't overcome it. We can that's what I believe. We can. I mean, just look at all the vaccines that we have right now. Just look at all the medicines we have right now. Just look at all the all the people out there that are getting uh, that are um, getting diagnosed. I I know that some places are poorer than others, but we have a lot of uh, things. I have a lot of things. And uh, we we should worry about we should worry about whether we're going to whether our sin is going to separate us from God in heaven. And what does that mean by that? I mean that whenever you die, or is your sin going to stop you from going to heaven? Because sometimes the answer is yes, especially if we haven't uh, asked him for forgiveness from it and it's been bothering us. Or sometimes it don't have to bother us, but the wages of sin is death. Sometimes we uh we do things and then uh that are lawful but uh we do things and we hurt ourselves, we hurt each other. Like uh, I know uh I know most of you are thinking of like drinking right now as hurting ourselves and one another. But sometimes it don't have to be drinking. It it could be other things. And sometimes we uh 
we need to ask God to remove it from us. Because sometimes we can't do it on our own. Like we can't, we can't, we can't ask God to remove the addiction from us. And what do I mean by that? I mean that like we're not tempted of it anymore. We can go to the store without buying any drugs or alcohol. We can uh, go to, uh, you know, insert store name here and not worry about uh, it. Yeah, so, uh, also, please keep me in your prayers right now. I'm looking for an, uh, another CD of Ratchet and Crank. I'm also, might, might be doing another game. I don't know, the game, I ha the disc I had crashed on me. And whenever I try to reload it, it crashed again. Well, it said discrete error. It didn't really crash. But for those of you who are wondering, I play on a PlayStation 2. And I'm uh, trying to save up some money because I heard that uh, that Sony might be doing like PS2 games on like the uh, PlayStation 5. And I want to have some money in case they do that. That way I can buy that. Because let's face it, all of these CD-based games, yeah, they get scratched up. They can get damaged. They can get this, that, or the other. But as for the digital versions, the only way if they get damaged is if somebody deletes them. Or damages the code, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. So, uh. I just pray that God really heals people. That really need to be healed. That God can use us in new and interesting ways. To better serve Him. To better understand Him. And listen, I do realize that yes, video games can be violent, but so can a lot of other things. And I believe that that uh, video games can be used to reach people. But let's face facts: a lot of us don't play Christian games or don't have a Christian, uh, don't have a PS2, and all we could do is watch somebody. And don't you want to play games that you enjoy? It? I mean, that are not, uh, you know, too gory or too realistic or too, uh. Insert something here, but games that are maybe cartoony or that maybe, uh, like I was playing uh, a Lego game, I think. Let's see, did I play a Lego game? Yeah, I played Lego Batman, and that that's deals with Legos. And sure, you could say it's killing and stuff like that, but it's coming out as Legos. Yeah, so, um, uh, just please keep me in your prayers. I really do need it. Yeah, and I did send, I did something, uh, it, it I told somebody something that I shouldn't have said something, that, that I shouldn't have said. And, uh, you know, I hope that God forgives me for that. Which I'm not going to say what it is. Because they might be watching. And they'll understand later on. But, yeah, so, uh, we need each other, people. We need each other. The Bible says, quote, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All of us have sinned. All of us. And sometimes we like cheap. Like we like to go out on our own and explore our own way and be, and go our own way. But God's trying to lead us back to him. God's saying that, yes, that's okay to go your own way sometimes. But sometimes we need to follow the herd. Like sometimes, what do I mean by that? Like sometimes, I mean, like we can get like, like if we do whatever everybody else is doing, then we follow in the wrong herd. We need to follow Jesus. And, uh, he does, uh, you know, I believe that, uh, what is it, uh, like, we can be, like, it's okay to feel 
Well, sometimes we feel like we're alone in life. Sometimes we feel like we're depressed. Sometimes we feel anxious. Sometimes we feel nervous. Like me, for instance, saying this video, sometimes I feel nervous. And uh, I have Tourette's syndrome, so that's very obvious whenever I feel nervous. Sometimes, uh, sometimes we just need to relax. Like me for right now, for instance, I need to relax. I was moving the mouse. Yeah, and I need y'all to keep me in your prayers. I'm uh, having trouble finding a doctor. Not a, not a neurologist, so just a regular doctor, and not a therapist, because I, I already see that. Just my home doctor, I'm having a little trouble. But yeah, so, uh, and what I need to do is I need to turn to God and let Him, uh, now there are, re like, sometimes I believe that God does use doctors because, uh, you know, our technology has come a long way and he doesn't, sometimes he doesn't need to intervene. He can let the doctors see that. But yeah, and don't get me wrong, he can heal you. But sometimes we need to live with what we have. What do I mean by that? I mean that, uh, that some of our diseases and disorders are here to stay until we go to heaven or hell. You know, until we die, they're here to stay. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, just please keep me in your prayers. I really do need it. Also, please keep my family in your prayers. They really do need it. I know I've been going on for a while, but I, um, uh, I just feel led to say what I have to say. And I know that, you know, this is kind of goes like off topic sometimes, and sometimes I, uh, just say random things. Well, all the time I say random things. Well, maybe not all the time, but, you know. But please keep me in your prayers. Oh, by the way, I'm not using this, so I'm using a, a mic. And I just looked to the top left, and I'm doing it again, that, because I can see what y'all can see. On the other one, on my screen right here, I can only see, uh, like, the, uh, the web browser and what's on it. I can't see myself. And some people are like, well, why don't you just use one screen? Because the other one I like to look at, and whenever I put uh, something uploading, I like to do it on there. And besides, I just think it's cool how I can have two screens. And yeah. So, uh. Yeah, also, um. What else am I going to say? What else do I want to say? Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, my ratchet and clean stuff is, is kind of. Well, uh. It's still. I still got a few days left planned out, but it, it's going to have to stop because of, uh. My disc. 
it got uh just it got uh damaged. You know, it doesn't want to play on my PlayStation. Uh, I'm not sure how it got damaged, but it got damaged. I mean, it wasn't in perfect condition whenever I got it, so maybe that has something to do with it. Also, I kind of messed up my disc cleaning and stuff, so maybe that had something to do with it. Well, it, it got messed up, and then it got messed up, and then whenever, I, and then after I did my dish, my disc cleaning and stuff, that's what I meant to say, my disc cleaning and stuff, it got, I think it might have got damaged some more. I think that might have been a fraud, that uh, disc stuff. Or it could have been me, because I did damage. I, I, I did get something wet that shouldn't have got wet. Not the CD. But, uh... Anyway, I want to save up and see what Sony does with the PlayStation 5 with the uh, backwards compatibility. Because I might just get that. But that's going to take, uh... About... Three months. Let's see... Yeah, about two or four months just to save up for that. Yeah, so, uh, and then please keep, uh, my little brother in your prayers. He's going through so much right now. I don't want to say what it is because he told me not to say it, but he's just going through so much. But, uh,. For those of you who don't know, he is adopted. So, uh, yeah, so sometimes he has issues with, like, well, at least, uh, I think he has issues with, I think he still has some issues with, uh, like his mother or something. But yeah, so, uh, so please keep us in your prayers, keep my family in your prayers. It's good to pray for somebody else because that shows love and commitment to that person. Well, it's good to, uh, let me rephrase that. It's good to pray with somebody because that shows love and commitment to one another. And if you want to, if you can't pray with them, you can pray. Uh, like, we got, between God, you, between God and you, and then you can tell them, hey, I prayed for you, if you want to. Or if you don't feel led to do that, but you feel led to pray for them, just pray for them. But to me, that means it's on, like, another level whenever you pray with them about what they're going through. But sometimes, you know, people can't do that, so that's understandable. That's understandable. Because sometimes I can't always be with somebody. Or I'm, or it might be in the middle of the night that I'm thinking about somebody else and this <clears throat> is sleeping. Excuse me. But I can pray for them. I can pray for them. And these last few days, I've been getting a lot of sleep. But I kind of changed some things up a little bit. I think that's helping. I uh, I started going outside for at least 30 minutes. And uh, I did do a little bit around the house. So that's another thing. I need to get back to doing some work, though. But uh, I can wait on that. I don't have to be done right now. And I got uh, this, uh, it, it, it needs to be charged, but I got a new band for it. I got a, I got a smartwatch for those of you who can't see. Let me put it what y'all can see. Let's see, I can't really see. Yeah, there we go. It's, uh, the band is green and the, and the thing is black.
Yeah, so, uh, just please give me your prayers. But I do have more time, to, being that I'm not doing any gameplay videos other than the one on my phone sometimes. I do have more time to do these kind of longer videos, or longer videos. Not longer because my gameplay videos were longer. But I do have the time now. And I'm looking to see what Sony's going to do with the PlayStation 5, so I'm kind of saving my money right now. I don't want to buy any new games. I just want to see what they do. And who knows, I might end up getting me a PlayStation 5. Also, please give me your prayers for that because I realize that that can become an addiction. Yeah, I want to see, uh... Because I heard that they might be doing some PS2 stuff. Now, might be, might is a key word. Because, you know, they could be, they could have something totally else planned. But I like doing these videos because, um, really it gets me to focus on the positive aspects of my life. And it gets me to focus on others. And a lot of times, you know, I catch myself, I, I focus a lot on myself. I don't really focus on others. Focus a lot on myself. And what do I mean by focus on myself? I mean, I, like, I don't, sometimes I don't take the time out of my day to think about, well, how did this affect that, that person? Or how did this affect that person? Instead, I'm always worried about, well, what, what are they going to do to me? Well, what have I messed up on? You know, I start with the... I'm sorry, what, what have I messed up on? You know, what have I done wrong? I don't really focus on what we'll have, uh... How, how does, uh, how can I affect others? Like, I don't really focus on others. I focus a lot on me. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we all need to be there for one another. We need each other. We need each other badly. And, uh, how do we, uh, focus not on I, but on, uh, not, not on, like, ourselves, but on, uh, others? Well, we need to focus and think about how our actions have affected others. We need to focus on thinking how uh they, how we've wronged somebody. We need to focus on what we've done wrong to somebody. Not on what everybody else has done wrong to us, but what have we done wrong to somebody. Because let me tell you something. It can be uh sad. It can be depressing. It can be uh seem like the entire world's against us. It can be all of those things. But we need to focus on what we've done wrong sometimes. And don't get me wrong, it is to focus good on... Sometimes it is good to focus on yourself. But we need to focus on others too. Or at least that's what, I, that's what my view of it is. We need to focus on others. Because like the Bible says, we have all been led astray. Like sheep, we have been led astray. Yeah, what does that mean? That means that we've all been, we've all gone with the wrong crowd. We've all been going with the wrong people. We've all been drinking. Well, not all of us have been drinking, but some of us, but we've all been sinning. And, uh, yeah, the Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of glory. God, all of us includes it. All of us. The only one that didn't sin was Jesus. And you can say that he, uh, 
His spirit wasn't a human spirit. His spirit was godly. But his body might have been mortal, though. His body was mortal. Even after he rose from the dead, I believe that uh, he might have been still in pain. Well, I don't know about that. But uh, yeah, they had to have been. They had to have hurt him a lot just to be hanging on that cross, and just to know that uh, what was going on with God and uh, well, what was going on with God the Father. But listen, God says, "For I will be with you always, even until the end of the age." And He's and together with that Bible verse. He's always there with us. He's trying to lead us back to the right, the right way, but we have all been corrupted. We've all been uh, led astray. We've all been, we've all sinned. Would that be verbal, physical? And what do I mean by physical? I mean like you might hurt somebody with a punch, or you might hurt somebody with the words, with the words that you said. I well, I guess physical would be hurting somebody with a punch. Now, I can understand, you know, defending yourself. If some of us uh, go overboard and kill each other. Some of us w go, um, some of us have sinned. Some of us have uh, lied. Some of us have stolen. Some of us have, uh, Some of us have uh, gone against the Bible. The Bible says to treat our body as a temple. And I believe that us drinking too much of things, whether that be alcohol or even root beer, can uh, damage us that temple. Because that, that's acid. Some, some of that stuff's acid in our, in our uh, body. Acid, or well, some of or some of that stuff to put more acid in our body. Let me put it to you like that. Because I know how our stomach has the acid in there. Or at least from my limited, very limited understanding of science it does. Yeah, so, uh, we just need to be there for one another. We need each other. Now the Bible says, Holy, holy, holy is Lord God Almighty. All that, that song says, Holy, holy, holy. I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm not going to say the rest of that song. But yeah, it does say uh, that stuff I just said. Uh, I know I said this before, but it repeating itself three times. Yeah, that uh, that shows importance in ancient Israel. Shows importance. Like if you're gonna repeat something three times, it means that it's important. And I was doing some uh, some research of whenever uh, it's estimated that Jesus died. And man, that's interesting. But, uh, yeah, and I urge y'all to do your own research, to study, and study where your research gets its sources from. Because if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And, um, we need to also study, uh, the people who oppose to their point of view. The people are like, well, this ain't right because of that, or that ain't right because of this. Because let's face it, we don't know everything. And sometimes we need to see the problem through somebody else's point of view to really understand it, to really know it. And uh, listen, there are uh, newer Mac computers that's going to come out. Eventually, I'm going to upgrade. 
but that would be probably a while, probably be about a year. Yeah, and then I went crazy earlier. I thought that my mouse was gone and that my headset was gone, but really it was sitting right in front of me. And they were in the same spots that they were. Uh, well, my, 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 uh, not my mouse, my mic. My mic's always in the same spot normally. It does get moved every now and then, but that's from me moving my desk slightly. Yeah, and, uh, please give me your prayers. Like I said, I've damaged my body before, and I know that I'll do it again. Like, I'm thinking about doing it right now. I was thinking about drinking some Dr. Pepper, but that's not good for me. And I need to focus on drinking stuff that's healthy for my body and stuff that'll, uh, help me. For right now, I need to focus on stuff that'll help me sleep. And yeah. So, uh, and how do we, uh, how, how do we focus on ourselves and not focus on, uh, like, how do we not just focus on ourselves and focus on others? Well, sometimes we need to pray for God. Sometimes we need to ask God for forgiveness. Sometimes we need to ask God to see the problem through somebody else's point of choose, point of view. Sometimes we need to ask God for uh, repentance. Sometimes we need to just ask God and be like, God, how can I help with this person with this, that, or the other? Sometimes we need to ask God for guidance. Sometimes we need to just ask God for, uh, see a problem to somebody else's point of view, like I said earlier. And I don't want to end this video because I'm I'm doing so, such good work right now. So I'm going to have to end it. Uh, because this is going to, uh, a little over, over time. Those of you who are wondering, I normally do this about 30 minutes, and right now we're at 33 minutes. But yes, and I know that, uh, that, you know, uh, these videos need to get done. And I need to put, uh, God before uh, everything else in life. I need to put the Bible first. I need to put God first. But, uh, yeah. Bye, guys. Also, uh, what I was going to say before I stop this is I need to put God before everything else. Like, I need to put God before, like, my friends, my family members, my, uh, cousins, my, uh, I don't say my friends. But I need to put God, we need to put God before everything else. Sometimes we put things before God that shouldn't be there. Sometimes, sometimes we damage our bodies. And do things that we shouldn't do. Because we put alcohol and marijuana and drugs before God. Sometimes we, uh, we might go to church on Sunday and Wednesday nights. But we drink every, every, uh, every day except Sunday and Wednesday. Anyway, yeah, bye guys. Hey guys, if y'all like this video and y'all want to share the word of God, y'all can like and subscribe. And comment. And if y'all want to donate some money, we have a Patreon page. Now the Patreon stuff starts at three dollars a month, and it goes up to twenty-five dollars. And the reason why we do it monthly is because that gives us an idea of what we're gonna be able to make, like for the next month. Anyway, bye, guys.